arrival point POP2 specs, it says the working distance or the standoff is 150 to 400 millimeters. Hi, it's Chris. And standoff affects your working volume, your accuracy, and your resolution. So let's take a look at it. If you move the scanner really close to the object, you'll have a smaller working volume, but you'll have more accuracy and resolution. If you move the scanner far away, you can scan larger objects, but the trade-off is that you'll have less accuracy and less resolution. You'll notice with the latest version of RevoScan that the preview shows more than you actually get in the 3D scan. You can see a red square in the upper left camera view and that's really the calibrated area view that you'll get scan data for. I just calibrated my POP2 sensor and then I went back and checked it. It's a pretty nice deviation error. I'm going to start at 15 centimeters standoff and work my way up. So I'm going to do a new scan. I'm doing a feature scan here but maybe a body scan later when it gets further away. see that the actual scan data is less than the preview. Checking to make sure that it's 0.1 millimeter point spacing. And I'm checking that I'm using a high quality mesh and no denoising. Done. It's interesting if you scan a flat plate from different standoff heights you'll see that the field of view actually changes its shape and size. Another thing that I found is that in body mode you can actually get up to a 70 centimeter standoff which gives you the largest field of view. One thing to notice is that as the fields of view get larger they also get much noisier. Because of the odd shapes, I decided to use a CAD program to calculate the square centimeters of each field of view. OnShape is a free CAD program that's like SOLIDWORKS. It's web-based, but you can load in things. So I've loaded in these uh, field of view scans, and then you can go down and look at the area of it down here. With the scans of these flat plates, you can best fit the data to a plane, and then you can see a color distribution map of the air. And on the right side is the scale with red being the highest plus deviation and magenta being the largest minus deviation. 15 centimeter standoff, 20 centimeter standoff, 30 centimeter standoff, 40 centimeter standoff, 50 centimeter standoff, 60 centimeter standoff, and finally 70 centimeter standoff. You can also plot the results where you have the standoff from along the bottom axis and the squared centimeter scan area on the y-axis. This plot shows the 3D scanner standoff distance versus the plane fit error in millimeters. And I have the uh, maximum positive error, the maximum minus error, and then the 95th percentile. So uh, the value which 95% of the points fits within. This chart shows you a couple of things. One that is when you're in body mode, you can do much larger standoffs but and you get larger fields of view, but you can get some pretty huge errors as you get out to 70 centimeters. It also shows you that if you stay in the recommended uh, standoff range of 15 to 40 centimeters in feature mode, you can stay under a third of a millimeter error. Well, hopefully this information was helpful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe, and have a great day.